All right, so hey, I just wanted to weigh in on something that's very interesting because what's going on right now, um, January 2018, I figured I'd school myself, I learned to school myself about docking. This is a very interesting thing. But I mean, I get where it came from. I always understood that. But what is the problem right now? Um, listen, there are some 12 million undocumented illegal immigrants. Somewhere around oh, 12 million undocumented illegal immigrants living in the United States. Understand there's well over 300 million people living in the United States. How many people live in the United States? As of 2017, the population of United States of America was 325,145,963. But <laughs> there's 325 million people uh, and some change living in the United States. Um, yeah, but you know what? That's almost like a state full of illegals that are sprinkled throughout the country. This is true. It's a, that's a problem. So DACA dealt with that problem. Now, a lot of times we love to oversimplify problems. You can't just oversimplify a problem. Hey, we just want to kick them all out. They're all rapists, killers, and drug dealers. We got to get them out of here. Everybody needs deported now. Killers, drug dealers, this this stuff is crazy. I mean, that's, hey, let's just give them a path to citizenship and then we'll live happily ever after and skip in circles. At the end, they'll be great Americans and they'll love us. Um, but where reality lies is somewhere in the middle. So with that many people in the country, um, how much would it cost to round them up? A million undocumented illegal immigrants. How much would it cost to round them up? How much would it cost to deport them? I mean, do you see how that becomes a problem? Everybody wants taxes to stay low and be cut where appropriately, but adding services like, you know, like this wholesale, all mass, find these secretive, undocumented people. And let's get out of here. Everybody needs deported now. Listen, let, I mean, let's, let's be real. Undocumented people aren't just walking down the street with a tattoo on their forehead. Illegal. I don't have documents. It just doesn't, it, 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 so it's kind of hard to find uh, out. Those numbers could be inaccurate, to be completely honest. Um, so anyways, DACA is, in all honesty, I thought it was a decent middle ground. There's some things left out, nothing's perfect, but I mean it was worked on by left and right alike. Now, comes time to re-up, revisit a situation. And here's the interesting thing that I found. I don't want to talk about the ins and outs of DACA. What I want to talk about is Ann Coulter. Ann Coulter. Oh, Ann. Ann. Yes, the Ann Coulter. The Ann Coulter. Um, this is somebody that I'm not I'm completely honest. I am so not a fan. I did like how they, uh, the, I did like the roast um, where they turned the attention to her. Um, a little disrespectful, but it, and I laughed. I'm not going to mean, forgive me. Um, all the same, Ann Coulter, who like actually wrote books about the singing the praises, all hail, hallelujah, Trump, uh, is actually very critical about the press conference, the round table, the, uh, and you know, so I figured, let me watch it. And she was actually right. He seemed to agree with everybody. And in all honesty, in a very tight situation, yeah, you know what? Maybe a little charm, a little bit of easy going. Wait a second, you can't just be gullible. There's charm, there's easy going, there's willingness to try to meet everybody's needs, but then there's just gullible. I mean, he agreed with, hey, you know what? We need a standalone dreamers bill. Um, and then, boom, McCarthy jumps in and says, hey, no, no, President, this is what we mean, this is what she means, blah, blah, blah. And he's, oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. But hey, we can do what she wants too, even though she's saying the exact opposite of you. Let's do what both of you guys want, right? Um, and it really, uh, I, to see Ann Coulter critical of Donald Trump, this like made my week. This was like, a, wow. Here, everybody needs deported now. Oh, this is like, well, maybe. And But then I also thought to myself, and I'm talking to a colleague, you know what I mean, who, who's um, uh, right of me. <laughs> and I tried to talk to some colleagues that were left of me, see if I could find it's a middle ground, right? And you know, the thing that comes up is like, hey, you know what? 
If the Democrats would throw him a couple dollars, call it a stimulus package, let's put people in the Southwest back to work to build a little bit of wall. We could even argue over how many miles. We could argue over what locations. Is that hard to get some comprehensive reform? Eh, probably not. Um, if they say, hey, you know what, we're going to get rid of chain migration and some of these other things that are easy to take advantage of, would it be hard to, you know, really play up the successes that DACA had and downplay some of the negative? You know what, this is, this is a reality. But I ask myself, why did the Democrats not do so? I ask myself, why would the Democrats not do so? If this is what I want, if I want to help these people, if I want DACA, why would the Democrats give a government shutdown? I got two reasons. The first one's weak. I'll be real. It's real. It's real. The one is, hey, we're taking a play out of your book. You did it to us, government shutdowns, you made things miserable. We're doing it to you. I'll be honest. I mean, let's keep it real. Hey, we learned this trick from you. Yeah, you know what? It's like, hey, you played this game with Affordable Health Care Act, you played this game with a number of things, so we're going to play this exact same game with you, all right? No, we're going to shut it down. Me personally, shutdowns are, eh. If I don't go to my job, I don't really get what I want. I get fired <laughs> or reprimanded, do you know what I'm saying? Um, I'm not big on the shutdown thing, but I was thinking, why in the heck would they shut down? Why would they make themselves look like a bad guy? Why would the Democrats put themselves on the visiting side when the antics and the screw-ups of President Trump thus far make them look like the reasonable ones? Why would they look unreasonable when they have the upper hand? And Ann Coulter lets me in on it. She's, you know, complaining about he's being gullible and going back and forth, agreeing with the last person who talked to him, looking like he doesn't have any like, you know, rule base or looking like he doesn't even understand the ins and outs of the topic. And he's losing his base. He should be steadfast and he should... And I said, wait, that's it. Whatever your big mouth promise is, you got to come through. And I think that is where the Democrats are. I think the Democrats are on the whole, you know what? He's done so much to tarnish his reputation. He's completely alienated himself from mainstream media. He's completely offended a whole lot of demographics. He, immoral, a horrible figurehead, a horrible role model, but he's completely, all we need is to make sure he doesn't deliver on his big promise. We can negotiate on something else, but the big problem, we're not going to let you deliver on your promises. With all the damage you've done to yourself, if we just prevent you from accomplishing, if we prevent you from accomplishing your number one big mouth promise, build that wall, then we know we got you. Build that wall. And we might have the party. Because I haven't put it out of my mind that the Republican Party may run somebody against him. But, so there, there it is. That's my, as of right now, opinion of why the heck the, the Democrats would put themselves in such a position of looking like the, the crankies, the, the bad guys, in a scenario where they, I thought they originally had the upper hand. Here, everybody needs deported now. Democrats are playing hardball. Maybe you could say it's posturing. Maybe a little immature. I'm so against shutdowns. Do your job. You're paid to argue. Argue. You're... Thanks for tuning in. I'll put some video links of some of the videos I was talking about. Tell me what you think. Share. Subscribe. Thank you. Ask me anything. I'll get back to you.